Welcome back, Wars of Fire. It's Exabo here, and today I am in It's Jerry and Harry playing creative with another redstone creation, and I am here with. Oh, Kelsey. Again, yes, uh, I've been doing a lot of videos with him, and he's really good at redstone, probably better than me. Uh, but no. we have two redstone creations. It's not really a battle, but it's sort of to see which is more useful. Uh, I don't know what his does. He doesn't know what mine does. Yeah. So, basically, we're going to start with mine because his isn't 100% done, even though it should be done by the time I finish explaining mine. Basically, right here is a redstone flip, which is basically when this is powered, this is... When this is powered... Okay, let me just show you. So, normally... This right here will be off, and this right here will be on. But when you flip this lever, it does a reverse, turns this off. Now, if you did not know, I actually made one small error here. Let me just fix that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna work. Uh, repeater, where's my repeater? Ugh. I can't place, yes. Okay, so, basically what this does is it supply uh, when hoppers have a power source, they cannot take items from chests. But when they don't, they can take items from chests. So let's leave that on and let's put the TNT in here. Just a ton of TNT. And let's pretend this is your diamonds and now this is completely useless unless you're on the factions world or if you have a lot of resources. Because this is crazy expensive to build so you have to take uh, if it's a single chest you can just do one line of repeaters but I found it's slightly faster if you do it with two lines of repeaters on a double chest especially if you only have a uh, single chest full of items in there but you take the line of repeaters sticking into each other all the way down to this right here now, usually there would be two minecarts with chests, but since it's Jerry and Harry doesn't allow it, then we uh, then we can't place it. But you would have the minecarts with chests in there, and these would empty out. These would actually have to be one lower. So let's get this. I love how I'm finding the errors in my design after, and I just made this go into the wall. Okay, is that fine? No, it's going into the wall, but. Okay, I hope you guys get the point. So, basically, this would just have to go down one more block. What are you doing? Getting in your way. Okay, yeah, but basically, these repeaters, uh, no, not repeaters, hoppers, would have to go down one more block, and they'd feed into minecarts with chests, and then, yeah, once they, they would empty out into the minecarts with chests, and yeah. So, let's go back up here. Um, there are a lot simpler ways to do this, depending on how long you want this to last. And I know this probably doesn't make sense, but I'll make it make sense Actually, once yeah. I finish. This same place where we built our dog trap. And so, basically, when this gets powered, it will also send a pulse Wait, down. Oh. It will also sorry, send sorry. a pulse hold down on, here that will I'm launch sorry, those sorry, sorry, I have to say something. It, what? I have to go. Okay. So, like you can really? we can show this off later. Okay. So, uh, so this launches this. It actually takes 300 pe repeaters on four ticks to get to two minutes. So you might want to use maybe an item decay timer or even a comparator sticking out of the minecarts right here to check if they're full and then redstone going out like that. Uh, I don't know if that works because it's, it's Jerry and Harry and for some reason I haven't tested this before, but this will, this will send the two minutes down and it will launch the minecarts, which are full of your goodies, into wherever you want it to go. I just made this weird little lava room and your stuff will be safe. Of course, there. Of course, you could uh, pack stuff into your inventory, 
or you could do whatever you want but I'm just saying this is a pretty secure method to do it and this wouldn't take long at all to build it just takes resources so it's very compact too now before you go disliking this video saying why would I ever use it as I said this is very compact and yeah you don't have to make it as deep as I did but yeah and it can fit pretty much anywhere and even though it takes a lot of resources it's nice it's very adjustable like as I said before you can put comparators instead of that running down and yeah so basically that's what that does and it's only I only recommend it for factions and you will need something like obsidian so that the people can't just get into your chest but if you don't know that much about redstone and you just want something quick to do it because I'm sure a bunch of people are probably yelling at the screen saying hey you could do this but if this is these are guides for sort of redstone noobs they are not for professional redstoners so if you're a professional redstoner stop watching this video right now and just leave okay unless you just want to see how this works then stay but that's all that really does and yeah apparently this is a dunk tank now I actually need to see what's in here so let's go in here and I don't actually know what this does there's nothing in the dispenser so what I'm guessing this does since Ocalfi had to go is right here there would be a mob and if you hit this button with a projectile it would pull this back and it would let it fall into the lava so let's see if I'm correct okay so there's a button right here hit it with an arrow redstone current into repeater which goes up here which spawns a mob what okay I don't really know but this goes down here which I'm guessing controls that okay yes it does so let's just put that there sorry I don't have any quartz but that's basically what that does and oh wait this spawns a new mob after the other mob goes down okay I get it but that's Ocalfi's little dunk tank which is probably fun for a vanilla survival server you guys can like do prizes with that but that's pretty much all for this video now remember these are simple inventions for people who are new to redstone and most of these are useful and modded servers they are not that useful on survival servers what happened to the dog oh my gosh yeah but this is the old dog and if you didn't see that go check that out there may or may not be a link in the description probably won't be but whatever and yeah so no there really will be but while I'm still here this is just an annoying trap it just pushes that up it's nothing basically it's just a pressure I know my battery is running low it's at 14% Windows 8.1 it's so annoying um, but it's just a redstone current that pushes a piston so I might as well show you that and that's all for now see you guys later and wait a second not leaving yet I will be starting face cam soon enough and I was actually gonna put a face cam in this video but I forgot forgot to press record yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this is probably going to be titled guide for redstone noobs or something because as I said before this is not for redstone professionals but that's all for now see you guys later